Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Pisces, and this is going to be from the 1st to the 7th of April, 2024. I will be using my Guardian Angels Messages Tarot, and to clarify, I'll be using my Angel Wisdoms Tarot deck. So let's see what message or messages we have for you. To all those who are stopping by, I welcome you, darlings. I welcome you, I welcome you, I welcome you. I thank you so very much for stopping by and spending time with us. Oh, my darlings, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And always know that these messages come from my heart to your heart. Always, darlings, always. I share a little bit of my life with you. And I'm here to tell you that when you start healing, things start changing in your life. You become aware of so many more things. And you start loving yourself. You start loving yourself. So, let's see what messages we have for you. So Pisces, this is for you. The release card. There was some type of ending that brought in some new beginnings for you. You got the eight of earth. You were very focused on something that you were learning. You were learning you were, all the details about everything. You were learning something. The ace of water. This could be abundance, your cup overflowing, or it could be new love. The knight of earth. The Knight of Earth. The Knight of Earth. Um, pay attention to the details. It's slow and steady. I, I just got distracted. We got the Nine of Fire. You're very resilient and prepared. No matter what you keep getting back up, okay, Pisces? You got the five of water here. You're very disappointed and you have some regrets about something. You need to forgive yourself. The five of water. Things didn't turn out the way you were expecting them to. We got the magician. You got magic alive in your life. It's up to you to bring it out. You got the ace of earth. A new financial opportunity, maybe that raise or that promotion or that new job you've been waiting for. The sun, a lot of happiness, positivity. So let's see the release card. Something that ended that brought in a new beginning for you. On top of the release card, we have the Knight of Air, we have the Nine of Water, and we have the Queen of Water. Whatever it was that ended, it did bring a shift. It did bring a shift to your environment. It was sudden and unexpected. However, your dreams became a reality, or be yeah, they became a reality. This is past energy here, and it's a very magical time in your life. Remember, endings bring, make room for new beginnings. And you have the Queen of Water here, and I would say that's you, Pisces. The Knight of Air, the Nine of Water, and the Queen of Water. A 
and you might be feeling a little emotional because of whatever happened there. Because even though it brings in new things, the endings bring in new things. When things end, we usually do feel them, you know, no matter what it is. So we have the Eight of Earth being very focused. Um, things are being revealed to you. You need to stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Have confidence. It says challenge those in power, but choose your battles wisely. And you got the world card. A brilliant success, a joyful time, or a joyful accomplishment. Something comes to completion for you. Something was revealed in the past. You stood up for yourself. And something came full circle. And your cup overflowed. The six of fire, victoriously, you went within, you did some work. You started doing some soul searching. You started doing some healing. You started feeling revitalized. And things started happening real fast for you. We got the six of fire, the renewal card. And you see, when you go within and you do that work, you start feeling brand new, you know. I mean, yes, it's heavy. It is heavy. Healing is heavy. But then you see when you start going through it and, and you start seeing, oh my goodness, well, you know, I went through all this stuff and now I feel better. And you keep doing it. Healing is an everyday thing. We, we got to work on ourselves every single day. You know, it's not okay. I'm going to do it now and then I'm not going to do it tomorrow. We got to do it all the time. So you got the Six of Fire, the Renewal card, and you got the Eight of Fire. Something coming towards you pretty fast here. Something that you need to pay attention to the details about. Something that's going to bring delays, conflict, and feelings of being off balance. Why? It has something to do with finances. It's slow and steady. It's just slow. It's it's coming, but it's just slow. You're feeling kind of stuck. I don't know why there's a pause here, but there's some conflict going on. And you have the two of, two of earth. You're very you're feeling off balance. Maybe you have too much on your plate, and because of that, it's causing conflicts. Maybe you need to ask for some help. Write a list. Prioritize the things you need to get done. Start knocking them off your, your list, you know? That way you don't feel so off balance. You got the nine of fire on top of the nine of fire. You got the ten of earth. You got the wheel and you got the three of fire. You're resilient. You're prepared. You got the ten of earth here. You came into some finances. So maybe this off balance feeling is gone away or is going away. You got the Ten of Earth coming into some finances unexpectedly, enough to take care of you and your family. You got the wheel. You got a fresh new start. A very positive change. And you got the Three of Fire. You can start making plans for the long term. You got abundance from past choices. The Ten of Earth, the world, and the Three of Fire. And then we have the Five of Water. On top of the Five of Water... Whatever it is that didn't turn out the way you expected it to. Whatever it is that you're crying about. You're disappointed. You have regrets. The seven of air. You, you lost your peace of mind. Something happened here and you lost your peace of mind. You feel like you lost your personal freedom as well. It had something to do with the celebration. Or maybe... What you're crying about... Is something, somebody betrayed you. Or maybe this is just saying to be aware. Be cautious. 
You got the seven of air. It's about betrayal, okay? And it's about being cautious. Maybe you have been betrayed. Maybe there was some kind of celebration and somebody betrayed you. But at the same time, it brought you peace and contentment to your personal life. Let me know if that makes any sense to you, okay? You got the seven of air, the three of air, and the four of five on top of the five of water. And then you got the magician here. You're magical. Magic is alive and well in your life. But something from the past is blocking this magic from you and this abundance, babies. You got the ace of water here. You got the ace of water here. Your cups could be overflowing, but there's something blocking it. Something from the past. I don't really know what it is, but this feeling or whatever it is from the from the past, it gives you the feeling of lack. It, it makes you feel empty, you know, like you don't have, like you're out in the cold. But then you got the ace of water. And I want to say that you're going to overcome all these feelings here because you got the magician. The ace of water is about your cup overflowing and abundance. Could be abundance of love. Then you got the ace of earth here. The ace of earth is about abundance financially, the promotion, the new job. You got the queen of air here. The three of earth and the lovers. This is a Gemini. I don't know what this is about. I don't know. This is the queen of air. This is a Gemini here. Your career is taking off, but you got to make a choice about something. Your finances are going to start looking up. But you need to clear away things that no longer serve you. Or this could be a Gemini because we got the Queen of Air, we got the Three of Earth, and we got the Lovers making choices. Recovery from an illness, vibrant health. So many things this card could mean. But I feel that there's there are things coming for you for your... um. Where your, career, where your career is concerned. I feel you're going to have to make a decision where love is concerned as well. But it seems like your finances are improving. But you've got to make a decision where your heart is concerned. You got the queen of air. You got the three of earth and the lovers. Then you have the sun. Happiness, success, enthusiasm. But something with this love is weighing you down. It's making you holding on to something that you need to release. Okay, babies? This love that that you're attached to, this whatever it is, it doesn't seem good for you. It makes you feel heavy. It makes you feel like you got a burden on you. And it's blocking all your happiness. You got the ten of fire, the two of water. That's about love. And then you got the four of earth. Holding on to things that could be unhealthy for you. Okay, babies? Situations or people. Holding on to this love story that might be time to let go. You got the ten of fire, the two of water, and the four of earth. There's something that's blocking. There, you have a lot of beautiful things that are happening for you, but there's there's negativity too that's blocking these good things. See, you got the nine of air, the five of water again, and the magician. You're gonna overcome all these feelings, okay? You're going to take a look at your life and you're going to start forgiving yourself. You're going to start loving you. You're going to start forgiving others. You're going to start taking care of you. Okay? 
you're going to get out of that feeling or those thoughts of, oh my God, the worst is going to happen. You know, it always happens. You're going to get away from that. You're going to stop crying over the spilt milk. What has happened has happened. Forgive yourself and move on. Do some healing. You're very magical. Magic is alive and well in your life, babies. It's up to you to bring that magic out. It truly is. You got the nine of air, you got the five of water, and you got the magician. You're magical. You will overcome these issues or these situations. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves, and we will chat soon.